today is a very, very windy um, Friday and I hate windy weather. I can put up with hail, rain, snow, ice. I detest wind. But anyway, today we had the turf arrive and we got turf down. So we now have turf where the pond used to be. So as you can see, it's a bit better than a nasty pond. And Steve the Builder has been back and he's put up as well as straight here. Around. We've got the, the trellis I showed that the other day. So now the view from back here, it's quite a nice big area. And uh, you can see the garden's looking a bit better. It's crawling at a snail's pace indoors. But I'm going over the paintwork and uh, we have most of the kitchen in. Um, the job that I'm doing is paintwork, but H is doing. So the tiling is going in the bathroom. So, as you can see, the space is in, but uh, the walls in this bungalow are not straight, so it makes it a little bit awkward to get any tiles on. But anyway, let's get in there. So, still to do tiling, tiling in the kitchen. We've got the cooker to go back, we've got another cooker. Our house to go in here. Um, boxing in underneath there. The cooker hood has got to be straightened up a bit above it. It's because we've got a wire hanging out of it. Uh, it's not going to be blue, that's just sticky stuff on it. And uh, the rest of it is done. So, walls have got to be painted again, but that's not too bad. So, I've been doing that. And as we paint it all white, it's uh, not too bad on that. I'm just longing to get it finished and on the market. It should be great. The door's banging. Very, very windy. Anyway, hopefully more to the last Friday in May. And a beautiful day. And absolutely shattered. So hopefully back to work tomorrow. What does this work? Anyway. Lawn has taken, put this down last week in a gale, and uh, it's now grown, so it's going to need a cut soon. Had the sprinkler on, but last week it was great because it was raining, so for once, welcome the rain. And then uh, I'll take you around this way. We've got the, I think you saw that before, we've got the rope on. No, this is making a noise. You have to excuse the mess because I haven't cleaned up. To be honest, I'm too tired. So we've got the doors. These are the interior doors. And I've got a glass door to go into the kitchen and wood doors, which I'm gonna have to varnish next week to go in the other rooms. So I've just finished the grouting. So, as like I said, it's a bit of a mess, but it's quite nice now the tiles are done. And uh, done the way up to the top. And as you can see, bath's a bit of a mess. I haven't done anything in the other rooms. Oh, I have because I've finished the um, skirting boards and all the, what would be gloss, but it's. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Um, silk, whatever. And the kitchen is now getting its floor down. And I've also done the grouting in here. So step back and we've got at last drum roll a cooker that fits so we've got that in and uh, the grouting I haven't cleaned the grouting yet so just excuse the mess of that and all down there as you see more mess and then a little worker putting the flooring down so if I go back from here you can see the kitchen's starting to come together which looks good and our little worker. It's been a lot of swearing today. <laughs> a lot of swearing from both of us, actually. <laughs> so, uh, fortunately, you don't have to hear that. Looking a lot better. I will have to. <laughs> Was that a swear word? 
Um, I'll have to post what it was like before because uh, I've almost forgotten. But uh, it's okay. But I don't want to show my mess. Right, but anyway, the cooker's in. Thank goodness. So still to do in here. Got to repaint. I've got to put the handles on the drawers and the fridge is in. Fridge freezer's in. So that's good. I haven't even opened the fridge freezer because we haven't got handles in it. It doesn't really get opened. That's all. And the corner's got to be boxed in. The top has been boxed in. So that's going to be painted and boxed in. Um, got a skirting board to go around here, which I bought primed this time so I don't have to paint it all. And then edging there's got to come in. And the window in here, we had to buy new glass because the double glazing was blown. But, excuse the noise, when we bought the window, it's not actually deep enough. So this way, oh well, it's a bit of a Anyway, excuse the noise. What I was trying to say is the window is not thick enough and I've got to buy another one. So the windows are outside, absolutely useless. But it wasn't me that measured them, so even better. I'll be blamed for that one. And um, eight before I got here today, decided to paint the extension wall and he used the undercoat, which is the wrong colour, but I'm not going to mention it. But um, I'm quite pleased, at least it's not me that did it. Oh. Get away from the noise. Anyway, that's where we are. I've started to clean the in this this old place. It's got these window ledges that are these tiles, and um, I've been doing those with wire wool, and then I'll I'll polish them. So that's where we are. Tomorrow the doors go in. I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be back at the rink, and I'll be back on Monday. And I'm actually having Tuesday off. I haven't had um, a day off for almost two weeks, so feeling a little bit touchy and a little bit tired. Anyway, getting there. So it's Monday morning again, and back here at the bungalow. And I'll start with some really sad news. The lady whose bungalow this was, obviously she moved out at the beginning of the year, um, went into care, and she was on end-of-life care, died the weekend. So that's really sad, um, because we really wanted to show her what it looked like after we finished. So sadly, she didn't get to see it, but she did have updates. So, yeah, a bit sad news. And we've got a little bird up there. And he's living in next door's roof, so I don't know he's obviously making a nest. Let's see if he goes in. Come on, chap. In you go. So he's got some nesting stuff in his mouth. I've been watching him. Oh, he's dropped it. So maybe he knows I'm watching. Yeah, I'm not living there at all. But he's living up. If I can get in here. So I don't think he's going to go. He's going to go in when I'm not looking. But anyway, if I pull back, he might. But I haven't seen, um, haven't seen little babies yet. But he's been, uh, anyway, very sweet. But I haven't told the next of neighbour in case they're not uh, too keen on having a bird nesting there. Anyway, don't know why I'm whispering because he can't hear me anyway. So in the lounge, back to my north self. And hopefully this is going to be the last week. Hopefully. Um, cleaned off the window ledge. But I'm going to paint them. You can get some, it's sort of like a learning curve for me. Um, we can get some paint. These have been painted before, so uh, do them again. Very 1950s. And clean the windows, which were absolutely filthy. So, almost finished. We're going to have to give the walls another coat because when you have a look around, there's some bits and pieces that look a little bit patchy, which you can to see up the top there. So we're going to give it all another coat of paint, just in case I haven't got sick to death of painting already. And we have doors. So very, very pleased with the doors. We got a uh, carpenter to, to fit them <laughs> because we knew, well, Howard knew that it was uh, beyond us. And new door. We were going to use the old door handles, but they just seem ridiculous. So these are nice new ones, new door fittings. So new doors all the way through, cleaned up the front door. 
and I've just painted inside here so that's all nice and clean and again I'm gonna to have to paint the front step and cleaned up in here same thing um, a bit more painting to do in here down at the bottom and then we'll put carpet down so nice new door again cleaned up the front door got all the mess off there we were gonna originally have a new front door but as we've spent so much money that's uh, just got cleaned up so bathroom um, clean up the tiles and do the edging so the sealant around there the, the bath fortunately it looks a mess it's got a cover like a plastic cover on it so all this will come off hopefully and eventually we'll go to toilet seat so again nice new door and this room which is gonna get the junk taken out of here again we had a, a bit of a leak up here um, our plumber who we're not very keen on um, had a leak so we've got to put some stain blocker up there and repaint that and my handiwork underneath there has got to be repainted as well so biggest change is in the kitchen we've got a new door for the kitchen I wanted a glass door it's still got its uh, plastic on here and I've varnished all the doors and gave them one coat and um, obviously when you put the varnish on it's a water-based varnish but when you put the, wood, the varnish on it brings up all the grain of the wood so I've had to rub them down and then I've done it again I've got to do it again sounds like someone's back with the biscuits um, <clears throat> floors are all done in here oh, here comes our illustrious leader <laughs> oh yes, look. <laughs> Couldn't make your mind up, right, okay. Obviously I won't be eating any of those, obviously. <clears throat> um anyway if you'd like to move out of the way, because I'm filming, thank you. Can't get the stuff. So the kitchen is finished almost and as you can see it looks a lot better than it did before. Cooker has straightened up. We've got the cooker in. Um, obviously, it's not been cleaned up yet. And uh, looking back this way, um, all the floor new. Lamin the laminate floors down. Just taped around the edge so that we can give another coat of paint to the new skirting board. And then this has got to have another coat of paint. And then underneath there has got to have the. Just look at this. I mean. Look, this is, this is what the workers of Britain are like, eating cake. Anyway, we'll say nothing. So, still, still to do. Windows. We're not even going to go there. Got to replace the windows. Oh, creaky. And uh, the garden. Paul is coming to weed. I did cut the grass the other day because it, it's really taken. <laughs> As you can see, it was so long. There's lots of mess all over it, but my mower really, really struggled. My fly mow really struggled with it, so uh, I'm gonna have to redo the garden a bit, T tidy it up. That's all it needs. So I think it's Paul's last day here today, and hopefully to tidy some of the plants that should be going well. Anyway, H when he had um, someone ran to collect a load of rubbish, accidentally threw away the gate. So, got to get a new gate. Not saying too much. Anyway, that's where we are so far. Glamorous as ever. This is an, another, almost done, but uh, cleaned a lot of the rubbish out. So, it's a matter of just cleaning now. So, this is Thursday, and we have two estate agents coming on Monday to value it. Um, they came to um, measure up the carpets today, and the carpets and the bathroom floor being fitted next week. So, nearly done. It's, um, I've washed the floors and it still looks absolutely filthy, but I used eight buckets of water in here. Um, so, quite a challenge for the old flash. And a lot of rubbish. We're going to go to the tip in a minute. That one you've seen before, so much different in there. Still to do um, window ledges. See it around the bathroom. So, getting there have a toilet seat, oh, luxury, and uh, clean the windows, obviously. This room is, this room is even dirtier than the other one. I think I remember, if you saw the original ones, this is the room that had the pink ceiling, and the brown walls, and the blue wall, 
And I can't remember what other colour, but it was multicoloured. So looking outside, I'm going to dress the house a little bit. So I've got my table and chairs over there. Obviously not the uh, workmate. And I have actually done the hall floor, though it's not that good. But it does get a lot of use and cleared the plastic off of the kitchen door. So coming into the kitchen, clean quite a bit of it, so it's looking a lot better than it was. So I pulled back a bit and going through around here into the extension which is nearly done. So I'm going to put my clock up on the wall, this is my little clock, and mirror up, it's going to go up on this wall. And this is the roof lantern, which hopefully, and we had a bit of a surprise today. We came in and there was a note put through the door and it said, um, I have sold my property looking for a bungalow um, as my sister lives in the same road. She tells me your property might be ready to go and if so, I'd like to have a look. So, that'd be great, wouldn't it? If I sold it straight away. So this is the, this is my favorite piece really. And uh, having a look up here, you can see, hopefully, if you remember, this was that horrible, dingy, wood clad conservatory thing where it had a door in the end here and this was all windows but this is a completely new this was knocked down and rebuilt so it's actually no bigger but it looks a lot bigger so oh, I love the roof lantern so that's that out onto the deck still got the window to be replaced out there but that's not a big job and then the garden's been tidied up where the pond was and no we didn't bury anyone under it so and big garden our new garage going down here Out ready for our next skip run we've got sort of um, weekly bookings for the skip now but it's uh, cheaper than going for someone collecting it so the garden's looking quite nice. I think Paul's coming back tomorrow to um, strim around the edges, cut the grass again. So we're going to have to keep an eye on the grass. But the garden, if you like gardening, is lovely. Digitalis, digitalis, whatever. There was a big poppy in here, but it looks like it's gone over. There's lots of wild garlic and lots, lots, of, lots of plants down here. But for anyone that likes gardening, or this is such a nice sun trap here. So looking back, it's our new extension. And this is the same length again. Now, if I was a kid, I would have loved to play down here. I'd be making dens and all sorts. <laughs> I'm a bit big for that now, but that's what I would have done. Actually, I would have been climbing that because I was an avid tree climber when I was a little girl. I was a bit of a tomboy. And uh, I used to like playing with the boy next door. So that's the, that's the view from almost the end of the garden, not quite. I wish there was no slow ones or anything down here. Stinger nettles, my favorite. Or, or uh, wasps, wasps nests. But uh, you can see it's quite a, a fair size. And the chair will be coming home with us, but we're leaving it here for now. And I'll paint that up, place the wood, and a nice new chair. So, I'm quite pleased with it, really. So it's nice to think it's nearly done. And hopefully, it'll be sold soon. There you go. I will update when everything is finished. We've got the carpets in, and I've dressed the whole place. So you can have a look. <laughs>